Everybody up on the runway, go. When Abby walks in with those costumes, all I'm thinking is this is like Prostitutes the sequel. As a mom, I'm saying like they are midriffs yep. and, and fishnets. fishnets and school girls. It, right, it's just, My, it's I, over the top. Well, I like fishnets. I think they're cute, but I not with you. this. I don't get the holes in the, in the tights. You don't need to get it. You're not judging. Okay, don't well, worry about it. You have to understand, Leslie, I'm going with Peyton as the bully. She's older. She would be like the trashy, mean, bad girl that's up to no good at Catholic school. That's what I'm going for. Bully and bad girl is different from trashy, Abby. Trashy judges... means sleazy, slutty. She's, no, I, she's I, 14. I... She's not, that's not what she's portraying, a bully. Not some sleaze in some strip joint. I don't care what any of those moms say. It's my studio. It's my company, and they needed something cutting edge for this routine. I want the number to be good because I've got a lot at stake here. So, Abby, whatever you think is going to make the number. Okay. What about well, the decision made. made. I am telling you girls this. I am sick and tired of talking to your mothers. Knee socks, no fishnets, red trunks, bare midriffs. Everybody understand. Okay, Melissa, Maddie is going to wear her hair in two ponytails. So the kick me sign goes in the middle. When you do those ponytails, I want them way up here. I don't want her hair getting caught in the side. Thank you. Stage, and Peyton takes a kick me sign and puts it on her back. Maddie's ponytails were kind of in the way, and Peyton put it up too high. So instead of enjoying the number, we're all looking at Maddie's back to see if the sign's gonna stay on. And I was cringing. What goes up must come down. Like critique's gonna be? Look, look. Better than Kendall? I thought she did better than Kendall, look, too. Thanks. So I think you'll be getting that sweatsuit. Peyton, you almost screwed the whole entire dance up with the sign. You can't just, like, wait, stick whoa, 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 whoa. it. No, no, whoa, whoa, me. You have no, to make sure it's on there. Her daughter's ponytail's up high enough. Why are you gonna say Peyton did? Well, well, yeah, but she has to correct what no, she's... No, Abby, up. it starts from the beginning, and did it should... Did you just say no, Abby? No, Abby. I thought she did fabulous. Right, and you're not a dance teacher. Hey, you tell me how you thought she did. I thought she was okay. I think your turns, suit new, never crossed your thighs once. You need to fix that turnout. I thought that I was better than most of the people for You all thought you were better than most of the people in this group? Wise. Oh, that's cocky. But that's how I feel, performance-wise. Oh. Mm. I was appalled. I cannot believe that a 14-year-old young adult would open her mouth and act like that in a room full of amazing dancers. Did you see everyone else dancing? That's how I felt. Of course she thought she did great. You know, every kid and every dancer that gets out on that stage thinks they are the best dancer. And they think it, they just don't say it. And you know, Peyton being coerced, she said it. We have a really nice camaraderie amongst the girls here. But we don't critique each other. I ask you how you felt about you, not in comparison to everyone else, just about your performance. So everybody was perfect but Peyton? No. You didn't critique one other person? I don't need to. Peyton did for me. <laughs> I don't think there is an apology to give to the group. She said it, it's out there, and it was wrong, and it was bad. It will take years to regain their trust. These are her friends. These are her comrades. This is her team. She shouldn't belittle others. That's my job.